Hey there, coaches. My name's Rich Hargan. I'm the head football coach at Emmett High School out here in Emmett, Idaho, and also lead consultant for coaches all over the country with the surface to air system. If you have any questions, please put them in the comment section. We love to interact with both surface to air system members and people that are non-members. So please put any questions you have in there and we'll do the absolute best we can to get back to you ASAP. Before we get started, it would be awesome if you would please like this video and also subscribe to the surface to air system YouTube channel if you've not done so already. Thank you very much. In this video, I would like to take a look at the diversity of a gap power. That's what I'm calling this video, the diversity of a gap power. And we could probably do a hundred videos on the diversity of a gap power. But what I mean by that is the personnel grouping and surface changes. Those are things we talk about in S2A all the time of how you can make a gap power look different. And I'm showing no clips, by the way, of 21P, no eye back tight end traditional power. We have plenty of those clips, but none of them are in here. Okay, and I'm just going to show you a couple of these. This first one is 11P trips to the field with same side A gap power. It means the back is on the same side that we're running power to. So as we mesh, you'll see he comes downhill. We use the tight end as the kickout player. Left guard's pulling. We have a little RPO on it to protect it, and we split two defenders and get a nice little gain right there. Now, same game, three or four plays later in the game, we are now in 14P, and we have two basically fullback type players in the game. We're going to arc the tight end. You can see our tight end at the top of the screen. This guy right here, he's going to arc just a little bit, okay? And then we're going to get a kick out with the first fullback, and then we're going to get a lead through with the second fullback. Get this cursor move, lead through with this guy, and we're going to pull that guy around the horn, and we're just going to get a big old. Big old chunk of A-gap power going right there, okay? And we're going to get the ball downhill in the A-gap. Now, um, we could talk for days about how we block A-gap power. You can see that's two different running backs. That's actually our slot receiver playing some tailback right there. Um, this is against – these clips that I'm showing you are against a big 5A school. This is actually one of the top five biggest high schools by enrollment in the state of Idaho, and we are the smallest team in 4A. They're one of the biggest teams in 5A. So we're running the ball on a much bigger high school right here. Um, you know, we could we could talk for days about A-gap power. You can also head over to the sur Surface to Air System website, and we have a couple resources on there. If you head to the store, you'll find a book on how we block A-gap power with our offensive line, and you will also find uh, how we've incorporated it in the quarterback run game. So those are some things you could head over to www.surfaceairsystem.com if you're interested and check out those resources. Here it is again, uh, 11P. This time we have the tight end up there by himself. He'll be the kickout player on the defensive end. And you can see now the right guard is going to pull. We've got a little trips to the field RPO. And again, A gap power cut through the play side A, back to the back side A. Big run after, um, after he gets into the secondary potential right there. OK, so just again, just a, a very unique football play. Uh, this is later in the game. You can see second half of that ball game. We're back to where we started from. OK, trips tight left right there. Same side power, little RPO to hold the safety down here. And off we go again. Right. Run a guy over, be physical at the point of attack. So um, here's a two by two tight end look. Tight ends up to the top of the field, uh, field side right up here. So we've got that guy up there into the wide side now. Now we're going to run power up there. All right. And we're going to have the RPO down here to the boundary. We almost break that one, you see. Okay. So we ran for a boatload of yards on these guys. Had a lot of success. Um, this is actually a different game, but I put this clip in here just to show you again a little bit more of the diversity of A-gap power. Now we're essentially in uh, what we would consider 12 personnel. We've got two um, I'm going to use the air quotes here, tight end type guys. These are actually both running backs. So if you really want to know the truth, we're probably in some sort of, um, you know, almost uh, 30 personnel, three back, no tight end, really more than anything. But we tell our kids it's it's 12B. We want to make those running backs feel good about themselves and tell them they can be tight ends. Now we're going to bring the tailback that's out wide here, the slot receiver in motion. 
We're going to kick out with the first running back type player. Okay, again, a little pre-snap motion. We're going to kick out with this guy, and then we're going to fold through with this guy and create a little extra momentum, a little extra juice on the ball, bring that guy power read action, and it's really just our quarterback running power. Okay, we're just flying that tailback through the formation and running quarterback power. Okay, so and that was against, you know, really good 4A team. Those guys were ranked number one in the state the night that we beat them. So, again, lots of diversity, coaches. That's what this video was about, diversification of A-gap power, showing you some ways that you can run the play. And, again, we didn't cover them all, right? We've run that play out of 10, 11, 12, 21, 22, 23, 30, you name it, okay? We run it a myriad of different ways, and we block A-gap power and A-gap power read essentially the exact same way, okay? Lots of diversification on that play. All right, coaches, I hope this video was helpful for you. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button and also subscribe to the Surface to Air System YouTube channel. If you have questions, put them in the comment section. We'd love to dialogue with you. If you have additional comments or questions, you can find me on Twitter at Coach Hargett. You can also head over to the Surface to Air System Twitter account at S2A System. Or as I mentioned previously, you can head over to the Surface to Air System uh, website, which is can be found at www.surfacetoairsystem.com. Check out our store. Lots of streaming videos, books for sale on there, several of them covering AGAP power. You can also check out uh, clinic information where I'm speaking around the country this off season because we've got great content. Lots and lots of stuff we're putting out every day, every week, trying to just grow this great game of football. So again, thank you coaches, and we will see you on the next video.